Hi guys, welcome to another daily videos. This is the first one in August. I'm back from vacation and I'm ready for the full week of videos, including the first day live stream. This video is sponsored by Pedro from Portugal. So thank you very much. And the topic will be positioning. What does that actually mean positioning? It's who is the declare in the board? And very often it's really crucial to play the contract from the right side. Sometimes your systems just push you to play from the either your hand or partner's hand, depending on the sequence. But sometimes you can work on that hard and you can also uh, construct the system that you can choose which side is playing, especially the no trumps because that's where the lead is kind of essential that you need to guard your owners or you need to put the lead with the strong hand and so on. So for example, if our right hand opponent opens a strong no trump, we always want that person to lead. So for example, my agreement with partner directly over a no trump is transfers where from the last seed it's actually natural and this is the way where you can guard your owners but force the opponents from the beginning to lead from their strength okay for today's board it's from the last federation tournament and you get a balanced hand with 16 high card points so if you just blindly open one no trump that's it and uh, it will be your partner decisions which contract at the end we're going to play but if you look at the hand, what are the possible contracts you want to play? I mean, spades probably the best, the no trumps, maybe diamonds. And my idea is actually to play from north. Why? Because I have three small cards in hearts and two small cards in clubs. I don't need to guard any of my honors. If there will be three no trumps, what do you need for three no trumps? Ace of diamonds, stopper, so one more trick, and actually stopper in the other suit. So that's actually more or less something like 10 high card points, like ace, king, and four cards uh, with a low honor, jack, queen, or something like that. So kind of we need, we need a lot. Also, if we're going to play spades, I prefer to play from north. And if I'm going to open one no trump, Partner, if he has a four card major, he will stay man, and I have to bid two spades, and I will be declaring again. So, in here, although it might be a little bit difficult later on to show my hand, I prefer to open one diamond because after a spade, I can jump to three spades to show 15, 17 diamonds and spades, and that's what I have. If partner bids a heart, I can bid a spade and partner can bid no trumps. So that's also fine. If partner bids no trumps, well, we are there immediately. So, I mean, if you are going to adjust to the style, just think what kind of sequences there might be and adjust to that. Don't just do the blindly opening 1517 balanced. Okay, and after a diamond opening, West overcalls one hard and it goes pass pass to me. I mean, with 16 high card points, I don't want to like let it go. Uh, I can double here, but I'm a bit afraid that partner will be bidding clubs. I don't want to bid no trumps from the same reason. Well, I don't have hard stoppers and now we know that there will be five hearts probably cashed from the beginning. So I just offer my spades and want to fight for a part score. And to my surprise, it goes all pass. What does that mean? That East is probably not having the hard support and that partner will have three, maybe even four hearts with no good bid. Okay, partner has five, three, three, two, and he has nine points, ace, king, queen, and he's not willing, he's actually not willing to bid two clubs forcing with this hand. That's a little bit strange. But if we open one no trump, North will go three no trumps for sure with uh, five tricks, possible five tricks. See that in here, 
it's still not enough we are losing five hearts and the ease of diamonds in one spade i'm losing three hearts i'm losing a diamond so that's four and actually i need to draw the trumps which might be a little bit difficult after four rounds four rounds of um, hearts we will see if they really play the fourth round okay see jack and a nine so heart split five three two three so that's fine and an eight of diamonds discard so let's count and here we go so i'm going to rough it this guy is going to over rough so i better want to over rough that um I'm not sure if I want to cash one more trump. Because I actually need to play the diamonds before I draw the trumps. On the other hand, West is actually having one last one last heart. So if I manage to get entries, I might be okay to draw two rounds. If they split 3-3, free free, it's okay to keep a spade here and play on diamonds. Or I can just play the king of diamonds, force West to win and then he will play another heart. I can rough again in the dummy and maybe even discard something to be able to draw the trumps. If from the beginning he started with 4 spades, I actually need only two trumps at the end. So, I mean, that's that's a quite a high probability that East is having four spades. He roughed with the 10, though, which is pretty strange that he doesn't have the 8 or 9. So, I'm, I'm going to play the King of Diamonds and try to rough with the 7. Oh, surprisingly, East wins it with the Ace. And that's a little bit surprised to me. Okay, now I hope that I can draw <coughs> all three rounds. We will see. If actually West is having one more... If he has four spades, then... Uh... He will win a spade and a heart, but well, okay, he, he doesn't. I can draw the trumps and that's it. So space split 3-3. Free, free. Now I have the winner and I'm actually making 9 tricks in one spade where 3 no trumps probably goes down. Uh, if we have a look for the full board, uh, there's an overcall over 1 diamond, but... If you open 1-0 no Trump, I think West will keep their mouth shut and hope that no Trumps will be played from South and he can cash 5 tricks from the beginning plus the Ace, making 3-0 no Trumps down 1. And like when I play that, it was kind of surprised that I scored 6 Sims on this one. See that 3-0 no Trumps is the most common contract where people are actually opening 1-0 no Trump and then it really goes 1-0 trump pass, 3-0 trumps, and that's that's all it. If we look for a couple of uh, other results in here, then 1-0 uh, trump when you open one spade here on the second seat, which, well, not sure if that's a good way to go. On the other hand, Kevin was... Uh, Kevin won the tournament by a huge margin and tomorrow there's actually going to be a reward challenge against Kevin who scored amazing 51 imps. And I mean, that's a difference. That's a huge difference from the second place and when we chatted, he just had to hit every, every single board uh, right. So... You see, guys, it's very important to position uh, the no trump for this board, for this particular example. This is not um, exactly the perfect case where you end up playing no trumps from the right side. Uh, but sometimes when you have two garbage suits, it's better to play in a suit on a 4-3 fit 
because you have a control of both suits with trumps. So thank you guys for watching, see you tomorrow and with the reward challenge against Kevin and see you on Thursday uh, with the live stream. And I'm really looking forward, there might be some interesting topics, so we will, we will see what we can find out. Bye guys.